Brother, hmm? may I see your message? Nothing's on it. What did you write? Oh wait, it's a secret. So let's find out what you wrote. The message was a heart. He loves me. Now, let's see how this secret message was done. Hi everybody. Today's experiment is secret, write secret message writing. This experiment has two parts, the writing and the revealing. First of all, to write, we need copper sulfate, uh, water, water, and some blue paper. Now, why this paper is blue is because the copper sulfate aqueous solution needs to be hidden in order to be a secret message. And the aqueous solution is blue, so the blue paper will hide it. So let's make the solution. So first of all, I'll get a little bit of copper sulfate. And mix it into the water. Oh, wait. Okay, so now Ryan will write a secret message. Here you go. Okay, so he had written his secret message. Now, let's reveal it with ammonium carbonate. Now, ammonium carbonate paint will reveal what he had written. So, just one big spoon. Okay, so I set the revealing up, and after a little while, the message will be revealed. His secret message was a heart. Now, let's see how he made this heart. Now, let's see how this reaction occurred. First of all, there was copper sulfate on this paper. Believe it or not, it wasn't actually pure copper sulfate. It was actually a complex that also contained five water molecules, even in its dry form. So it actually looked more like this. And then, there's the ammonium carbonate. Now, ammonium carbonate, it looks actually like this. So first of all, there's the ammonium cation. Two of them, actually. So I drew two of them. And then the carbonate anion. I actually drew them a little weirdly. Okay, so... Ammonium ions and carbonate anions. Now, ammonia and carbonate, carbonic acid, which is the conjugate base of ammonium, and the conjugate acid, its conjugate acid of carbonate, are actually weak acids and bases. So, ammonium will redonate its protons to carbonate, forming carbonic acid. And then the carbonic acid will dissociate into carbon dioxide gas. So, in other words, it will 
to reassemble. This is base, gas, and water. Now, ammonia and carbon dioxide will rise up. It's actually the ammonia that will have a visible effect on the complex. Once the ammonia uh, invaded the complex, its atoms will start bonding with the ions. So at H3, these nitrogen will get closer to copper, while the hydrogens will get closer to sulfate due to partial positive negative charges, which we'll talk about in other videos. So, once the ammonia invaded the complex, the complex's colors actually change. So, it's actually going to change from, from a, I don't know, pale blue into a much darker blue. So like this, the complex had been disturbed. But, because it's pale blue paper, the reaction occurred, leaving in this trace behind. And this was the explanation. Thanks for watching, and see you in other videos. Bye!